Hello everyone, how are you doing on this beautiful day? This beautiful Friday. Um, I just wanted to share a little bit, I'm not going into too much um, awakening stuff today. It's more of like, how can you tell truth from lies? That's going to be my headline. How can you tell truth from lies? And from what I know, from what I know, from what I know, is it's different than what you're taught. Okay, so growing up in the system, in the Christianity, God is your truth. But it's always something outside of you. And we're supposed to ask this thing, this being, outside of you. What is good? What is bad? What should I do? Or you're constantly asking your parents, is this wrong? Is this right? So when we grow up and we become adults, we absolutely have no idea what is wrong and what is right anymore. Because... It was never established in our youth. And what this means now is you have to get to ground zero. You have to level everything out and be like, okay, what is truth now? You have to go out and find what is true for yourself and I remember when I was 16 and everything collapsed I was like I went to my dad and I was like dad I don't do this I can't do this anymore Christianity doesn't feel right it feels like falsehood after falsehood after falsehood and I just can't be a part of it I can't I can't keep doing this best words I think anyone has ever spoke to me definitely the most powerful meaningful words were no, I don't believe anything because I tell you it is so. Go out and find your truth for you. Find what is real for you. And I was like, great, okay. And I literally denounced my faith, denounced Christianity, denounced God and everything. And I was like, I am what I am. I am Noel. I am Noelism. And I created my whole religion called Noelism. And then I actually had in a book, in a journal somewhere, what is noelism and all the rules and everything which I had to break down and find out what is moralistic for Noel what is right for Noel and in doing so that was me taking back my power taking back my divinity see what needs to happen is you're going to the government you're going to your parents. You're going to God for these answers, okay? You're going to anywhere but here. And this is the most important. You are answers. You are truth. You are divinity. You are divinity. It's is the truth you are the light you are the way and if you dissect Jesus and the words that he spoke or Buddha or Krishna or any of it all of them the way is inside of you you have the answers you know the way you know the truth This system is, is to keep you from looking in. People will be like, well, how do you know? How do you know so much? I was like, because my spirit, my spirit guides tell me so. Not God, not this illusion of anything outside of me. It was never outside of me. It was always me to begin with. I was always God. I 
was always the thing that I was looking for my entire life. And you are. You are the thing you're looking for your entire life. What is something you want and long to hear in a lover? One of the things for me is, I hear you, Noelle, and I love you, and I respect you. So you know what I do? I say those things to me. Tell yourself what you need to hear every once in a while. I love you, Noelle. I hear you, Noelle, and I respect you, Noelle. Show up for yourself. Start making these decisions on your own. Start meditating and going inside. Start breathing this air, Gaia. Gaia is outside of you, but she's also in you. But she isn't outside of you because she's in you. It's all one. Gaia is one with you. You are one. And I think that's the same thing that started with Christianity but evolved into something different. But God isn't separate from you. And that, if you look up um, the definition of sin, isn't that you did something bad. No, 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 no. That's the lie. Sin isn't you stole, you cheated you hurt me, whatever. Sin is only the separation from God. So when you are sinning, means you are separating yourself from your divinity. And you will know it. You know when you do something wrong. You know when you do something that hurts you. Not even hurts another person. That hurts you. That you know you've, you've lost a little bit more of your integrity. And I know. I know I've been there, and quite recently, that's why I needed to get alone and recalculate, recalibrate, reconstruct my psyche, realign my chakras, open these windows, open these portals, these freaking portals that you have in your spirit, in your psyche, open them. These are tokens, these are gifts, these are gems, these are jewels, these are the way the way that's in Buddha the Tao written by Buddha actually means the way it's what it translates to the way Jesus always spoke of the way the truth and the life or the light the way the truth and the light either way life and light are the same thing the way they were what are all these prophets talking about the way this is the way And Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Because we are one. We were never separated. And we came to this fucking agreement throughout history that God is outside of us, but the Holy Spirit lives inside. No, it's all the same fucking thing. And I don't know why it's taken us so long. Because we don't want to admit that we have the fucking power. We don't want to admit Sorry for my language. We don't want to admit. Actually, I'm not sorry for my language. I take that back. We don't want to admit that we are divinity and that we are powerful and that everything you do, good or bad, is not because of a higher power. It's because of you. You made that decision. You did that. You. You chose to cheat on that test. You chose to marry that person. You chose to help the old lady across the street. You chose that job. You chose to take that money out of that wallet. You chose to tell that young girl crying in the bathroom, you're fucking beautiful. You're a God-given gift to humanity. And you're perfect the way you are. Whether you did that or that, good, wrong, right, evil, whatever you did, 
that was your decision and your choice. And if you said you were being led by the Spirit, yes, you were. Your intuition. This is your spirit. This is your spirit. Your third eye. This is you. Study it. Look into it. We know so much about stupid shit. But what do you know about something that is actually a part of your body? And we all have it. We all have one of these little guys. We all have a third eye. All humans. All animals. We all have it. But this is something they don't teach you in school, guys. So quit school. Learn something. Actually read a book. Or use your intuition. Ask yourself for the answers. Because who wrote the books? humans yeah you see where I'm going with this who wrote the books humans you go to school who teaches you humans do they know more than you know no no one ever knows more than you because all the knowledge of all the ages resides in here history won't ever tell you anything that you won't know in here future will never tell you anything that you don't know in here you know what you know because you know it. When you know something, you see it. You know it. You know truth. And you are a divine, divine being. And I just want to bless you today. And I want to tell you that you are divinity. Divine. Divine yourself. Divine yourself. Take yourself off the vine. You are ripe. You are beautiful. You are perfect and you have all the answers you have all the answers inside of you and baby boo trust yourself to make the right decision and when you don't know if you are or not ask yourself am I doing this out of fear or if I'm doing this out of anger and if fear and anger are attached to anything you're doing that that is not of divinity because fear and anger do not reside in the divine fear and anger cannot reside in the divine and I don't care if you shout really loud and say things that people are like oh my god that's a hate speech no if you didn't do it out of fear and anger if you felt if you felt the divine while it was happening like this speech if you felt the divine, it is divine. It is separate from the vine. It is you. You are a ripe fruit. Pluck yourself. Separate yourself. Become one and become alone. Get with Gaia. Get with God. God. You. Your soul. Your divinity. Mm. Guys, this is so rich and so good and I'm so glad that you took the time to watch this video and listen because it took me 28 years to get here but 28 is 10 which is actually 1 and 1 is the beginning so this is the beginning of the awakening for me and I'm so happy you're taking this journey please look Please hit the like and subscribe. And guys, I'm going to be po posting so many more of these videos and just give you like little insights to, you know, what my divinity is telling, what my spirit guides are telling me. And I just, I really enjoy sharing them and I hope you enjoy listening. Peace.